two good programs. Uh, I thought uh, I thought our guys played very hard throughout the game. I thought they did a great job uh, as well. Uh, I thought it was a great game, just a great college game, and we just came up came up short. You know, we've lost three games now at the buzzer. Just haven't been able to get the last stop of the game. It's been unfortunate. What's the sense of that locker room like right now? I mean, it being the third time, it's just being a relatively young team. Oh, they're, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're hurt. You know, they played hard. They, they, they put themselves in a position to win, and now we got to come up with the last play. We just haven't been able to do it. Could you talk a little bit about Don Morris? He's, you know, a kid that his first two years are kind of up and down, but it seems like he's really kind of putting it together now. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's been great. He got to a slow start this year, but he's been great. You know, he plays hard. He asks, you know, anything we ask him to do, he tries to do it the best of his ability. I can't say enough about him. You know, he's done a great job. What did you think of DJ Irving's play, leading uh, his leading scorer on the court? He was terrific. He played terrific tonight. I was very proud of the guy's effort. You know, he's got to be able to come up with a stop. You know, just haven't been able to do it. That's, it came down to one play. You know, and that's, you know, George Mason game was the same way. Northeastern game was the same way. You know? It's just, it's been, it's, you know, it's just been unfortunate. We haven't been able to make the, make the last play of the game. Can you talk about the run Harvard went on at the beginning of the second half? To yeah, we, and we the... knew they were going to go on a run. I mean, they're a good team. They're home. And, you know, they got good players. So we knew they were going to go on a run, and I was proud of the fact that we were resilient. We, we kind of bounced back and battled the whole time and, and again, put ourselves in position to win. What's the feeling about how the chemistry between DJ and uh, Maurice has been uh, developing as the season's gone along now with those two in the backcourt? Yeah, you know, those guys are, you know, they're, they're good friends. They, they like each other. They grew up together. You know, um, you know, those two guys are a big part of what we do. They're so unselfish. And, you know, um, you know, it's the reason why we're, we're, we're difficult to guard because we got two guys that can make plays for each other. It seemed like when you guys got going, when you would go on your runs, it would be Maurice and DJ getting out of transition, pushing the ball, controlling the tempo. Did Harvard do anything to disrupt that in the second half? I thought in the second half, we couldn't, we didn't stop them as much, you know, so we didn't get stops, you know, defensively, we just weren't as good. Uh, and that, that really hurt us because we're better when, the, when, you know, we wanted to push the tempo of the game. We, you know, we had it. We like to see the game be played in the 70s. Uh, and at the first half, I thought we controlled most of the first half. In the second half, I thought they probably controlled uh, a majority of that. And so that, that's, you know, it's the game slowed down to their tempo a little bit because we didn't get stops. Talk a little bit about the, I guess, the, uh, the difficulty of playing two guys in tandem that are as small as DJ and Mo are. I think it's a huge advantage, to be honest with you. I think that there are a lot of people out there in the country that would love to have, you know, basic two point guards. You know, I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a weapon. I don't think it's a negative at all. I think it's a huge positive. That's, you know, to be honest with you, we, we, we come up with three, three stops late this year. You know, we're having a great year. You know, I think it's a huge advantage. I don't see it as a disadvantage at all. Both guys can make shots. And they're, they're hard to keep out of the lane. And you know. Any team that can get the ball to the paint, whether they can throw it in and do some damage or drive it in, is a hard team to beat. And we can, we can, we can drive it in. And you know, Dom's giving us some, some post presence too. You talked about not being able to get the stops there in the second half. You got the first half. Was there something you could put your finger on that was behind? I just that? thought, just um, you know, we we tend to wear a little bit down in the second half. Fatigue sets in a little bit in the second half of games at times. Um, you know, it's something that we just got to get better at. We're, we, you know, we still play a lot of you know, inexperienced guys outside of three juniors that we have. We're still pretty inexperienced. So I think, you know, strength, you know, some toughness, you know, just things we, we you know, we got to get better at over time.